Do you have any favorite streamers? Um, I did. <laughs> One of them was Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> it still is until we find out more information on whether or not what was going on. And I find pe people like, well, it looks really bad now. He admitted to talking to a minor. Blah, 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 blah. It's like, well, actually, there's a lot of information we don't know. I heard a rumor that he was just another guy he was talking to. It was, a, it was a boy. It was a male that he was talking to. And it was like locker room talk. And, uh, you know, guy to guy locker room talk. And a person just so happened to be underage or something. I, I don't know if that's true or not. And then, so we don't, we, we don't even know if it's a girl he was talking to. But there's still a lot of, and we, there's also a rumor with a document saying that it was a Twitch employee posing as a 17 year old and asking entrapment questions to try to get him, you know, banned and stuff. So there's a lot of questions because the, the police, the supposedly, you know, there was an investigation done, but no arrests, no charges, you know? Okay, bro. Like, I'm just saying that's not what he said. He said, were there Twitch whispers with an individual with a minor back in 2017? Yes. Were there real intentions behind these messages? And the answer is absolutely not. These are casual mutual conversations that sometimes leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate. So that's, you got to take it into context, bro. Like, you know, what he's actually saying here. And it, this, th to be clear, there's a lot of question marks, even in this statement. We don't know if it's a boy, a, a guy, or a girl. We don't know the age. We don't know what the substance of the conversation was. And if someone said, it, oh, it was a boy, and it was locker room talk, it paid a much different picture. Here's an example. Say he's talking to a fan. And it's a boy, it's a guy. He's like 17, 16 or something. And he's like, oh, you're going to be at TwitchCon? Oh, yeah, I am. He's like, oh, man, I can't wait to go to TwitchCon. I'm going to see all those cosplays that those girls dress up as. And he could be like, oh, yeah, they look pretty, uh, you know, and he could use some explicit words describing some girls at TwitchCon. And the guy could be like, oh, yeah, heck, yeah, you know, can't wait to go. You know, that it could be something as simple as that. And then Twitch employees like, oh, I can't believe he used those words while talking to a minor, <gasps> you know? So you, you got to think and use your brain. There's a lot of information we don't know. And a lot of Twitch employees, ex-former Twitch employees, okay, accusing him of something else. And if, if they're accusing what they're accusing him of was supposedly investigated and he f and they found no wrongdoing. We already covered this. We already, we already looked into whether or not talking to a minor and there's Twitch employees, former Twitch employees saying he knew he was talking to a minor and the messages continued to be explicit. They don't even say if it was a girl or a guy. They reported him supposedly to the uh, uh, f uh, the the police or whatever. They did an investigation and found no wrongdoing. We also found out that it is illegal to sexually talk to a minor online in a sexually explicit way. So they did an investigation and found no wrongdoing, no illegality, no laws broken. So you got to ask yourself. Is Twitch, these former Twitch employees making this out to be way more than it actually is to make him look really bad? And that's why, and he's all, and Doctor is also under some kind of legal legality that he can't talk. He even said, now that these people have spoken out, I can tell my side. But even while he's saying his side of the story, he still left a lot of important information out that could prove his innocence or guilt because he's tied legally. So like I said, it would make a lot of sense that if it was just locker room banter, when he, he talking to some kid that he was messaging online saying, oh yeah, you know, 17 year old, 16 year old, even boy. And he asked, are you gonna be in TwitchCon? And he was like, oh yeah, heck yeah, I'm gonna be there. And the kid was like, oh, I might go see some of those 
I can't wait to see some of those cosplay chicks there. And all, and he'd be like, oh yeah, they're so hot. They're gonna be, they're gonna be great. You know, like it was something, something. I don't want to go into too explicit language. I'm just saying, locker room talk is locker room talk. It could be something as simple as that, and then Twitch staff thinking they got a smoking gun that want to get rid of them, report them, and the cops are like, they literally are like, oh, there's nothing to see here. He's not doing anything wrong. When we looked this up on Friday, and it's, or said it's obvious. It's obvious that if he were doing something, saying sexually explicit things to a minor, it is illegal and he would get in trouble. And since he hasn't gotten in trouble, no, and, and they do, he was even in court. He was in a in front of a judge and these things were out there and the judge had every right to throw him in jail and prosecute him if these things were true and that didn't happen. So you can't sit there and be like, stop, stop defending a predator. Stop defending a pedo. Well, listen, according to the judge, according to online, according to police, he did nothing illegal. So the things that the Twitch staff are accusing, the ex-former employees are accusing him of doing, actually don't line up to what has happened. They literally don't. Because we looked this up, it's like, look, if, if he really did what these former employees are saying he did, he would be in jail, out on bond, waiting for trial. Period. And that's not happening. So he must not have done what these former Twitch employees are saying he did. Or he'd be arrested and tried according to the law. So somebody, like I said on my video, that I, my most recent video, somebody is lying, period. And it's the Twitch, former Twitch staff. I didn't mean to go off on a tangent there, but we can't, you know, we're you're going off of hearsay. We're taking a moment to step back and look at what's actually out there and what's not out there and saying something doesn't smell right. I feel like the situation is exaggerated in Twitch's line. I agree. And I'm saying like something, heads are gonna roll, bro. Somebody out there is not being like, I I 100 believe the heads are gonna roll. Someone out there on the Twitch staff is not being truthful. There's something going on. 100. I agree. You know the law doesn't let predators walk around if they're guilty. People who actually do that stuff, they get found out and arrested. And if he actually did that, he would not be home chilling right now on vacation with his family you kidding me right now it's clear that there are twitch employees that hate dr disrespect and wanted him gone off the platform and they're looking for a way to do it and doc took them to court and won 10 million dollars and still found no wrongdoing on doc's side begs the question of like what did twitch do the document that came out said that Another another tweet said that these ex Twitch employees were trying to get him for something he didn't do by looking into his whispers, found out that it, hey, it's illegal to do that. They get canned, they get they get they get fired from Twitch uh, as a result. Doc sues them, wins the lawsuit, gets ten million dollars. I guess there's something going on when he literally admitted to it. He literally admitted to just talking to a minor in Twitch whispers. That's all he did. And he said sometimes it would go lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate. We don't know what that means. It's still so open. We just got done talking about this, bro. We just got done talking about this. That could be him talking to a, a person that's 17 years old, 16 years old, and him, him saying, yeah, or it might be a fan and him saying, yeah, I'll be at TwitchCon. And the, the fan saying, I can't wait to go to TwitchCon and see those cosplay chicks. And him going, oh, yeah, those cosplay chicks, cosplay chicks are pretty hot. They they show this, that. And the other. They could use the sexually, sexual language describing something like that. And then Twitch employees going, oh, he talked to a minor in a sexually explicit way. Oh, no. And it was just two men talking, locker room talking about ch uh, cosplay chicks. You know what I mean? Like, it could be something like that. And you're assuming the complete worst of the worst. So, yeah, there's still a lot of unanswered questions. People are like, well, he admitted to it, though. Admitted to what? Talking to someone who uh, was a minor about something that maybe be, be seen as inappropriate. And we don't even know what that is. 
His own gaming company fired him because they didn't want the heat, bro. Um, and we don't know if the whole trans uh, transcript <laughs> is is real or not. Someone could easily doctor that. That hasn't been confirmed. Even if it is, that's that's not a a minor. That person's an adult, so they have every right to. It doesn't matter what he talked to about with them. I think people, like I said, there's still way too much information we don't know for you guys to be sitting there condemning this man and calling him a predator and a, ped a pedo. Have you seen the leaked? Yeah, we already talked about that. Yeah, older age entertainers often talk to minors in completely legal context. Like, I talked to bands when I was a teenager metal fan. People are assuming the worst. Dr. Disrespect said he talked to a, a minor in 2017 and it would sometimes lean to be inappropriate. Sometimes lean to inappropriate, be inappropriate. And everybody's assuming it's a, ma a female that he's talking to. Everybody's assuming it's a girl. And that's one point. That's a valid point that we need to look at. Maybe it wasn't a girl. Maybe it was locker room between two locker room talk between two men. And that wouldn't be that out of the ordinary and bad at all. As this other story uh, uh, claims that it, it was a girl, 17. And it was a former, it was a Twitch employee posing as a 17 year old for, and asking entrapment questions to get him in trouble to get him banned. There's two variations of the story that we, and we just don't know which is true. I'm just saying you can't outright call the guy a predator and a pedophile. No wonder he was so mad. Remember, remember he was so mad on his tweet. Now, with all this said, don't get it blanking mistaken. I've seen all the remarks labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is a destruction zone. I'm no blanking predator or pedophile. You Are you kidding me? Anyone that truly knows me, blanking knows where I stand on those things with those types of people. F that. There's a different level of disgust that I blanking hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. See? exaggerations get the blank out of here with that blank so if he really was talking to a 16 year old you know like 15 year old 17 year old chick in, in a sexually explicit way like that not only would he be in jail and on trial but he wouldn't be saying this because then this would be absolutely not true if we later found out he was doing that you know what i mean so there's there's a lot that we don't know, and all we can point to right now is the fact that Twitch is lying. And people are like, what do you mean Twitch is lying? He admitted to doing it. It's up here, hello. But this means a lot. This, this is a very wide open statement. It's a very wide open statement when you think about it. It was a minor, doesn't say girl or boy. Says sometimes it would lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate. Tim the Tatman read this and assumed the worst. You could see his face when he's talking about it. He he assumed that Dr. Disrespect would be talking to a chick, like a, a, a 15 year old girl and talking to her in a sexual manner. They all assumed the worst. But if he literally did that, he would be in jail. We, we, we covered this. It's illegal. It's illegal to talk to have a sexually explicit conversation with a minor. Look, yes, it's illegal to have a sexually explicit conversation with a minor, regardless of whether you use a computer phone or text message. This is considered solicitation of a minor or enticement of a minor and can result in criminal charges and severe penalties. Yes, it's illegal to have sexually explicit conversation with a minor. So if it's illegal to have a sexual explicit conversation with a minor, Dr. Disrespect would be arrested and thrown in jail and trial and prison and all that. That hasn't happened and he's been investigated. So this did not happen.